Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to City of Gangsters, where today I think we need to do a little bit of work over here on our moonshine operation. So we set this up last time, and it is all up and running, it's working, I think we have already made one lot of moonshine, there we go, so far we've made the grand total of 27 and a half crocs of moonshine, but of course we have no delivery route set up, so the moonshine is just sitting there, it's sitting there doing absolutely nothing at all, which is a bit of a shame isn't it, it's a bit of a waste, so let's make sure that people can enjoy Enjoy our lovely, lovely moonshine. The moonshine that we made in the back room of a deli. I'm sure it's delicious, and I'm sure it's in no way at all like rocket fuel. So first things first, we're going to need a driver to, you know, move the moonshine around and pick up crocs and handle the money and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go and have a quick look to see who actually might be available to become one of our drivers. Okay, so take out current crew, pass crew. I don't think there should be any pass crew, but we'll take that out anyway. So here we go. Right, there's quite a lot. There are quite a lot of options. Now, if I remember correctly, I think the friendly trait, where is it? There it is. I think that is quite good. That's quite good for somebody who is doing deliveries. Let's have a quick look. Am I correct in thinking that? Uh, there we go, friendly. So running a speakeasy, no. Doing some deliveries, absolutely yes. Really anything that involves dealing with people. This may be a choice crew member. I think that is what we want. We want a nice friendly person going about the place doing the deliveries. You know, they can have a smile on their face as they drive around the place and they can give people a friendly wave. I quite like that. And it fits in quite well with the whole sort of, you know, cupboard crew kind of vibe going on. Everyone's friendly and happy and drinking tea and such like. So I think we will pick someone who's friendly. Now we only have four choices. We have Ronald, Marie, John, ooh, and, um, <laughs> and you there. We'll call you Margaret for now, I think, because I don't know how to pronounce that. I will pronounce that inevitably. I'll pronounce it wrong. So let's not let's not have a go at that. We'll just call her Margaret for now. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look. So Ronald is friendly, which is good. Also, he is agile. Ah, good behind the wheel. Okay, that's very good. Uh, however, right, you do have the myopic trait. Uh, yeah, someone with glasses that are so thick, it makes you wonder if it's wise to entrust them with a firearm or the keys to one of your vehicles. Okay, so does that mean that the vehicles wear down a bit quicker? Do they sort of, you know, fall apart quicker because they keep crashing it into things? I do not know. Okay, so friendly and agile, good. Myopic, not so good. Okay, so Marie Casey is friendly and irritable. <laughs> okay, I don't quite know how those two traits work together. She's very friendly, but gets very easily annoyed. Okay, uh, John Lee is friendly, mellow and irreverent. Okay. I like the fact that he's mellow. He's friendly and mellow. He is very, very laid back, is John Lee. And then, um, and then, yes, Margaret here um, is quiet, friendly, and weak. Okay, so maybe not Margaret, because she has weak, and maybe not Ronald, because he's got myopic. So we could go for John Lee, or we could go for Marie Case. Oh no, Marie Case is irritable. I don't think we want her either, do we? We don't want somebody who's irritable. I don't know how you can be friendly and irritable. But okay, um, John Lee, I think it's you. Here you go. So friendly, mellow, need someone to represent your outfit to the police or at a local dinner party. I mean, we don't do that very often, but yeah, maybe John Lee could go and do all the dealings with the police. I do not know. And then irreverent. So not likely to appeal to the religious crowd. I don't think we're that bothered, to be honest. Um... Yeah, okay, I think, let's get John Lee on board. 20 years old, Canadian, you can be one of our drivers. So, hang on, where do we need to go for this? We need to go down to Parkside Painters. I think we can manage that. Um, so yeah, let's go down to, uh, is it that corner? I don't think it is. It's the next one along, isn't it? Let's go down to, where is, hang on, where's that shop? Is it there? Oh, it's on that corner. I was right the first time. Um, Okay, we have we have eight favours with Alma here. I think we can probably get this person on board. Um, okay, I'm looking to hire somebody for the crew. Uh, yep, John, tell me more. Absolutely. In you come, John Lee. Splendid stuff. Use up a favour. And there we go. Right, so we have John Lee on board. Let's just very quickly make sure that you are actually in a vehicle of some sort. So you want to be in a delivery truck. All the delivery trucks are a little bit kind of beaten up. But that's fun. We'll get him to go and fix it before he does anything else. So, um, yeah, do you know what? Okay, have, um, do we click on you? Yeah, there we go. Right, so pop you into a small delivery truck. Now, where have you ended up? Where are you right now? Because we have got a few of those dotted around the place. Um, hang on. Where are you? You're, okay, you're not too far away. You're only over there. That's wonderful. Um, okay, right. So you, first things first, pop over here, drive around here and just pick up some money and go and repair the vehicle you're in. 
And then, you know, we'll put the whole repair thing into the delivery route later on. But right now, let's just fix it up to start with. So John Lee, go and pick up a little bit of money. There's almost nine, no, eight thousand dollars in there. So that's uh, that's not too bad. I think just start with three hundred dollars. It's not going to be that expensive. And um, yeah, pop over to I don't know Eastern Auto Sales. They're one of our fronts. They'll be happy to see us. You fix vehicles, fix it up, please. Fifty-one dollars, absolutely fine. Okay, right. So that is John Lee's vehicle now all sorted out, and there he is. Right. So let's move you over to here because you're going to be going over to this place quite a lot. Um, now, what we need to do now is decide what we're going to do with the moonshine. And I have a bit of an idea with this. So we've got two options, really. One, we could have ourselves a great big complicated delivery route that goes around the place and we find people that want to buy moonshine and uh, and poor Johnny has to drive around all over the place. He has to stop off at various places, drop the moonshine off, pick up the money, drive around a lot. So we could do all that. He could have a great big long complicated route like a lot of people already have. A lot of our delivery people already have that. Or we could just take the moonshine straight over to the speakeasy. Because I think, I think, I checked this um, sort of the end of the last part. I think when we make moonshine, uh, every four turns, we make 27 and a half crocs. Don't forget the half croc, very important. So we make 27 and a half crocs every four turns. Yet over here, the speakeasy can sell 61 crocs of moonshine every five turns. So I think we just pour all of our moonshine pretty much literally into the mouths of our customers over here at the speakeasy. I think that makes things very, very simple indeed. So let's get a new delivery thing set up. Okay, so here we go. So assign a driver. So assign John Lee. Um, okay, what do you want to call your delivery route, John Lee? Um, moonshine for the masses. I don't know. They can have moonshine. It's fine. Right. So first things first, we want you to pick up some moonshine from here. Hang on. Where are you? Moonshine. There we go. Right. So not from there because there aren't going to be any. Um, Anthony's Midtown Deli. There we go. So pick up moonshine from there. That's fine. So you grab everything. Grab all the moonshine that there is from that place. And then we want you to... Yeah, you don't need anything else, do you? You don't need anything else at all. Just pick up the moonshine. That is it. Simple as that. And then, or do you want to take some money? Do we want to pick up some money as well, just in case he does need to repair his car and buy some crocs or whatever? In fact, we're not going to be buying crocs. We're going to be picking up crocs, but not buying crocs. I think, let's grab, hang on, storage pickup. Grab, I don't know, grab a quantity. Grab, I don't know, 100 cash. Hold shift. There we go. So grab $100 of cash as well just to repay your vehicle if you need to. Okay, so do that. Wonderful stuff. Save that delivery step. Add, oh no, hang on. Hang on. We can do this at drop off, could we? Because we might as well pick up the cash from here as well. Because I think at the moment, all the cash from the speakeasy goes to suds and such. We could split it up a bit. So we might not need this step because we could just drop off the cash and, you know, and keep behind until, you know, all but $100 or whatever. That might make more sense. Okay, do you know what? Don't do that then. So basically storage drop off, drop off the moonshine. Hang on a second. Where are you moonshine? There you go. Drop that off at Republic Car Sales. Drop it all off. Yes. So pick up all the moonshine, step one. Drop it all off over here, step two. Nice and simple. Um, and then whilst we're here, storage pick up, pick up all the cash because we might as well. And okay, so do that. And then... We want to stop off at Agnes's place on the way back and just pick up some crocs as we go. So storage pickup. We want to then grab ourselves some. Where are they? Where are they? Stoneware crocs. Right. So pick up some of those from Agnes's deli because that place makes crocs. And that place produces them. So pick up um, until you have, uh, I don't know, five. I can't quite recall how many we need for a production run right now. So we'll go and change this maybe. But yeah, we'll pick up five for now. There's a value in there. That's okay. Right, that'll do. And then um, storage drop off. Drop off the crocs at the Midtown Deli. So yes. And drop off cash. All but, I don't know, $100. Just to make sure he can go and repair his vehicle at some point. Oh, hang on. We haven't put the vehicle repairing step in. Hang on a second. Hang on. <laughs> repair our vehicle at... I mean, Eastern Auto Sales would be sensible because he's going to drive right past that. Or Wilkinson's car sales. Um, I don't know, Eastern Auto Sales. That'll, oh, hang on. 
He's going to Western. Oh, that's no, Wilkinson, sorry. Um, yeah, go to Eastern, wherever that might be. Uh, hang on. These do not seem to be in any kind of alphabetical order. There we go. Eastern Auto Sales. So stop off there as well, please. Save that step. Right, we might just need to tweak that ever so slightly because that's going to be a bit silly, isn't it? Right, so Eastern Auto Sales. So there we go. So job number one, pick up Moonshine. Job number two, go all the way over here to the speakeasy, drop off Moonshine. Um, number three, oh, hang on. Pick up all available cash. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so go over here, drop off Moonshine. Uh, then pick up cash. So pick up everything. Then go to Agnes's Boulevard place and go, hooray, we've got some uh, got some stone crocs. Pick up a few of those. Then go and get the vehicle repaired. Then go and drop off the crocs back at the Moonshine production place and then drop off all but $100. So he will always have $100 on him no matter what. And then we just go and repeat that entire route again and again and again. And that should be fun. Right, now how much do we need to make a run of that? 18 Okay, I wonder how quickly he's going to do that. So if we say pick up, I mean, yeah, every four turns. So I don't know. I mean, do we tell him to pick up? I think five's okay. Because if he's able to do that, so if he does one run on one go, and then he comes back, that's two turns. Oh, hang on, that's three. And that, I don't know. We'll see how that works. <laughs> My brain cannot compute such a thing. Oh, however, however, just in case. Um, oh, crikey. Um... Do you know what? Let's move it on. I want to get this done. I know we could have done lots of other stuff, but let's just get this sorted right now. Um, yeah, pop over to here. Pick yourself up a weapon, my good say, just in case. Um, so have... Um, I'd like you to have a shooty weapon of some sort. How about a pocket pistol? Very classy, sir. Well done. Okay, so grab one of those. And now you can go back down here and you can begin your route, please. And we shall see how we get on with this. So you go and do that. That is very exciting. Okay, there we go. Another route set up. I mean, what's that? Now, six delivery people. Though Frowny Face doesn't do, deliver uh, do deliveries. He helps out fronts. So we have five delivery people now. This is all very good. This is going very nicely indeed. And Frowny Face's vehicle has been repaired as well. That's producing too many hops, apparently. Okie doke. We'll get rid of a few. Uh, we'll get rid of, I don't know, 10. That'll do for now. 44% full. That is not too bad at all. Okay, right. That is all very good. So now, yeah, you should be going to do your route any time now. I think now, let's go and repeat some of these missions. How many bottles? No, not how many bottles. How much neutral alcohol do we have in there? 52.8. It needs... It only needs 7.2 bottles, apparently. Oh, no, I can't do that in my head. <laughs> how many... How many 7.2s go into 52.8? It's about 7, isn't it? Because 7 times 7 is is 49. So it's about seven-ish. I think, how much space do they take up? Hardly anything at all. I guess they are very, very small bottles. I think we'll go and do that again. Let's go and do one of these missions again. And then also, how are we looking for um for grape concentrate up here? 27.7. It only uses eight, but they will go through that relatively quickly. So, right, Penge Cupboard, where are you? Where are you, my good sir? Um, Let's focus on you for a second. Okay, yes, of course, you're down here. So let's go and grab 18 small barrels. We'll drop them off over there at the grocer place. So that should not be too hard to do. So Penge Cupboard, go and get some barrels if you would, my good sir. There we go. So we have 18 barrels. Here we go. Let's just drop them off to lovely Myrtle. There you go, Myrtle. Got a load of barrels. Um, right, we will repeat that again because that makes perfect sense. Oh, hang on. Oh, here's the last batch. Oh, okay. Now that you've figured out how to get quality grape concentrate from raw grapes, you won't be needing my services won't we? Can we do that? I don't know how we do that. However, since you've done so much business together, allow me to help out, I help with building out that operation. Okay, so we're going to get 25 barrels, a load of crates, and 18 barrels of concentrate. Um, however, however, she's no longer going to do that quest with us anymore. Have we picked up a, a skill that I'm unaware of? <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, right, that's, that's not brilliant. Um, however, we will put those into well, into suds and such because that's where they need to go. Okay, right, so we've picked up some pipes and some barrels. Oh, she put everything in there. Hang on, we don't need the pipes and the barrels in there. Oh, that's that's filling that up quite a lot. Hang on, Penge Cupboard. Let's go move all that stuff out of the way, please. So yeah, we'll have pipes. I'll have 25. Those barrels are big. Those barrels are very, very big. They are proper barrels. They're not little barrels. They are huge, gigantic barrels. Um... 
Okay, right, how many movement points have we got left? Three. Uh, no, 11 movement points. Now, you should be alright to do a couple of runs here. So, let's just try and um, empty that place of big barrels. And here we go, the last lot of barrels can be thrown into here. So yeah, that took quite a long time. We did have to move on to the next turn because we ran out of movement points. But there we go, that's that all sorted. So that means that now we are stuck with, how much have we got? 38 lots of grape concentrate. It takes eight per run, hang on, eight, 16, 24, 32. We can get four more runs of the sort of brick wine in. However, that's gonna take 28 turns. That's quite a long time. So in 28 turns time, we're going to run out of grape concentrate. So maybe we'll have to go relatively far afield to find some of that. Was there anywhere else? I can't quite recall if there was anywhere else at all. Grape concentrate. Ah, yes. One place all the way over there. We might have to rely on that. And a place over there in enemy territory, which is obviously not ideal. Oh, and a place right near the edge of enemy territory. I wonder if we just park up here, wait for the turn to tick over, run in, grab that stuff and run away again. They might not like it because they're in somebody else's turf. Okay, that's fine. And nothing over here. Nothing over there at all in terms of grape concentrate. Okay, but a little place over there. And that looks like our best bet. Okay, right. Hopefully Lorenz has loads and loads of the stuff because we might be needing that. Uh, okay, right. Never mind. Now let's go and do this. So, bottles. How can we pick up bottles? This was quite tricky as well, wasn't it? Right, down here. The Underwood Family Dairy. I think if we just go and get a load of these, so 12 bottles, 250 of the money. So yeah, we've got that. We are going to have to buy 12 bottles, but I think we can afford to do that. So head down to here, if you please. Well, there is Officer Evelyn. Are you still on the books, Officer Evelyn? Until August the 4th. Splendid stuff. Right, okay. So can we please get some bottles? We'd like 12 of them, please. If we could grab that, that would be wonderful. Okay, so grab 12 bottles. Then we want to take those over to wherever that was. Hang on, what? Is that next door? Oh, it's over there. It's just around the corner. Okay, hang on a second. Could you not have just done that yourself? <laughs> just handy it, walk between the two buildings. Just throw over the back garden or whatever. Um, okay, hello, I've got the things. There's the bottles, lovely, lovely. There is the money. Okay, so we've got 12 bottles of neutral alcohol, which is not too shabby. That's okay. And we shall put that immediately into the deli because they can use that to make even more moonshine. So what do we have now? 64.8, and it needs eight. So hang on, let's do let's do the numbers again. Maths with Penge, everybody, count on your fingers. Eight, 16, 24, uh, 32, 40, 48, 54, no, 56, uh, and then 50, and then 64. So how much have we got? Have we got more than 64? Yes, we've got eight runs, I think. So eight runs, yeah, that's quite a lot. So that, that's a lot of turns as well. So I think we're okay for that for now. We might want to go and do that at some point. This thing here we could go and do. Um, yeah, it does require a lot of bottles. But I think what we could do... Do you know what? Let's pick up the rest of them now. And we'll drop off what bottles we have right now. And then we'll just do that a bit later on. And wrap that quest up a bit later. Because yes, we might as well pick up the remaining bottles. There's 40... Oh, do you know what? It's... Oh, hang on. We've only got $44. <laughs> Hang on. Right. Cancel that idea. Um, we'll be back in a second. Please wait there. There we go. We've come back with money this time. I heard that's quite helpful to do, you know, like financial transactions and stuff. So yes, we will have all of those, please. 44 of them. That's as many as we can fit in the truck. So yes, please. That is lovely. And then we'll drop them off over here. And then at some point in the future, we just drop off the last, whatever it was, 16, however many it was. And then, yeah, we just finish that quest off a bit later. But there's no need to do it now. So there you go, have some bottles, please hold on for the rest. And a quick check on the speakeasy, and it is indeed selling moonshine. Look at that, we have got some moonshine in there. In fact, last turn we sold 14 crocs of moonshine, which is very nice. So how much is in there? We've got some brick wine, and we have some moonshine in there. And that is it, that's all we've got right now. How about the beer? What's going on with the beer? Why do we not have any beer going on? Um, ah, because it looks like we were short on the malt syrup a little bit. Um, however, could we not... Hang on, hang on. Penge cupboard, come on. Where are you, Penge cupboard? Could you not buy... And that's apple juice from there. Where sells malt syrup? Is that it there? Let's pop over there and see if they can sell malt syrup. There is a failed delivery sort of thing there. I wonder if they have no malt syrup left. Do you have any malt syrup that we could buy? All of one barrel. That's not very good at all. Hang on a second. Malt syrup. Okay, let's pop down the road as well. And just check over here. 
Although, yes, this is part of somebody else's route, isn't it? So they will have picked this clean. Okay, we'll take that. We'll have ten lots. Where else sells malt syrup? There must be somewhere else. There must be another place far afield that Penge Cupboard could go and drive to to pick things up from. There's a place over there. Josephine's American Baking. It sounds amazing, Josephine. Right, hang on. How much money have we got? $769. Uh, let's drop off this for now using oh, nearly all of our movement points. Look at that. We're almost there. Hang on a second. Go to the next turn. It's fine. Yep, okay, a thing has happened. That's all very good. Ooh, an offer has uh, an offer made to you has come through. Head over to pick up the fruits of your investment. Is it um, is it our friendly gangster chappy giving us some crowbars? Because <laughs> he always has quite a lot of those. Um, okay, you drive over here. Drop off the malt syrup, please. There you go. Just chuck that all in. It's nearly enough for another run. That would be wonderful. Um, and then, yeah, okay, Pench Cupboard, head over here. Because I think you need to go this way to get to the baking place anyway. So head over here. Let's have a chat with our friendly gangster chap. There he is. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Um, about that product I paid for. Yeah, we need to kind of keep him on side. We need to keep him sweet. So hopefully by giving him some money for a product that we don't really need. But, you know, it's fine. It you know, might make him feel important. Then he'll like us a bit more. So about that product I paid for. We've got 10 crowbars. How wildly exciting. And where should we put those? Let's just throw them immediately into the junk room, into Peter's American Meats and Cheeses. Do you like us a bit more now? Oh, you really do? Oh, that's good. That's exciting. Oh, I like that. <laughs> His opinion of us goes up by 13. It says there, the two of you are thick as thieves. Probably because you are thieves. We, I'm not a thief. I don't do any thieving. Other people do the uh, the slightly more nefarious task. Penge Cupboard goes around the place and drinks tea, and it's very nice, I'll have you know. Um, okay, so, um, okay, interesting opportunity. Uh, okay, I think we've just done that, haven't we? Okay, and I know you do business around these parts. Got anything for me? Well, yes, I do. What would you say to some crowbar? <laughs> this is a gift. What is it with you and crowbars? What is it with you and crowbars? Have you got stocks in crowbars or something? Um, okay, don't mind if I do. Thanks for the crowbar. Now you're filling our vehicle with crowbars. How wonderful. Um, okay, and then let's head over there and pick up as much malt syrup as you have, Josephine. Um, okay, so we've never really spoken to you before, but we will have malt syrup. Let's pick up, ooh, 80 barrels. Let's pick up 21. I think we might be coming back there. I think this might be quite a good sort of little running route that we might be able to do a few times, Penge Covered. It would be handy if this whole road network made any sense. Could we not just build a road there and there to connect this up so we don't have to drive all the way around there or just complete this bit of road here? Would that have been so bad, Chicago Transport Department? Okay, never mind. Right, so come all the way back here. Okay, right, we haven't quite got the movement points. Come back this way in your own time. Okay, there we go. We made it back. So chuck 21 malt syrup into there. That is very good. I mean, yeah, the crowbars are taking up a little bit of room. So let's go and drop them off as well whilst we're nearby to the uh, to the storage area. So chuck those into there, if you would be so kind. Wonderful. And I notice that we do have some lovely level ups to do. Okay, Bill Burns, the wonderfully named Bill Burns. Uh, oh, Bill. Oh, it's not just Bill Burns. It's Captain Bill Burns, everybody. Okay, salute at Bill now, please. Okay, that's very exciting. And then Chester. Chester Broderick, who's working over at the Speakeasy. That is wonderful. So our bar person. And um, what can we get you to do? To so improve your sort of performance generally, uh, get an extra expansion spot could be useful. Increase the amount of booze, not so bothered about that because we're struggling to supply it as it is. Or increase the daily take from your joint. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? It's either get the production manager thing up or get the money coming in more. I mean, we don't really need the money. We're heading toward $100,000. But, I mean, it's all very lovely. We can buy loads more tea with that. Um... Okay, let's have Speakeasy Manager. Increase the daily intake from our joint. So there we go. Get a little bit more money from that place. Splendid stuff. That is all very good indeed. Um, okay, right. What are we doing? Ah, yes. Penge covered. Where have you gone? There you are. Um, you've got quite a bit of money on you. So yeah, let's just keep heading back over to this place and just stocking up on all of that lovely malt syrup. As many times as we can do it, I think, might be a good idea. Just put loads and loads of it up. Just keep ferrying it around. And that should keep our sort of... That should keep our beer operation going for a little while. Although it is very, very quick. It works every turn. So, yeah, I mean, okay, maybe this is... That'll keep us going for beer for a while, though, won't it? 
Joe, well, let's do it anyway. It seems like a good thing to do. So, right, okay, Penge covered. Yeah, we've got some long trips ahead of you, but it's fine. Oh, this is good news. John Lee has leveled up. Well done, John. Okay, first things first, let's get your... I don't know, you don't need to move too far. So let's get your action points up. So maybe you can do more stuff each turn. I think that might be quite good. So there you go. Increase your action points. So yeah, smart opportunist up to level one. Splendid stuff. Well done. Now we have got... Hang on, let's take a quick look in here. We have been sort of ferrying this stuff around for a while. 65 lots of malt syrup, which is enough for... Okay, hang on. 12 into 65 is... Five? So five more runs. That's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. And in fact, we are struggling for crocs right now. So what I think we might do, just to actually make sure that we don't have to keep going up here quite so often. Let's just do one final run with Penge Cover. So go and pick up another, whatever it is, 22 lots of malt syrup. Whatever we can fit into the truck. And then that will do for now. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go and check if we can do that mission. That'll be quite nice. So maybe pick up another load of neutral alcohol. That could be quite handy. And then we might go and learn some new skills because we do have some skills available and I think they might be quite handy to go and acquire. So first things first, however, yep, let's keep doing the lovely malt syrup buying. Okay, so final lot of malt syrup dropped off and we'll just pop over here to the dairy place to pick up those final 16 bottles, was it? I think it might have been 16 bottles. I think it was. If not, we've got some spare bottles. Yes, it was 16. Hurrah. Um, okay, now where was that again? That was over there. Okay, so let's just get this done. And then hopefully they can just dump the uh, the neutral alcohol straight into the moonshine place. That will be very handy. So, okay, I've got the stuff. You don't have enough in your vehicle. Do I not? Hang on, who just bought all the stuff then? Hang on, what, what have we got in the vehicle? 16 lots of bottle labels. Okay. <laughs> we don't need bottle labels. Well, we might do it at some point. Let's just put them into storage. There we go. Uh, I meant to do that. Did you all pass the test there? Well done. Good job. <laughs> I wonder how many people noticed that just then, because I most certainly did not. Um, hello, can I have some bottles this time, please? That would be great. That would be wonderful. If I could get 16 of those, that would be smashing stuff. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you twice. Those bottles labels you did, uh, they were amazing. They were wonderful things. Right, okay. Let's just keep things ticking over. Here we go. Right, straight in. Here you go. 16 loads of that. And we can do this again. Okay, this is very handy. I think we will leave that there for now. So, yeah, okay. We'll do that again and put that straight into Anthony's Midtown Deli, which means that place has now got 117.6, very important, bottles of neutral alcohol, which should be enough to keep that going for an awfully long time. So I don't think we need to do anything with that again. It's more the Crocs that's a problem, but they'll get there eventually. They'll get there in time. It's all fine. So on to skills. Now let's take a quick look at what skills we can actually learn. So we can learn bootleg brandy. That sounds quite promising. Um, old world knowledge wine. That might be something quite useful for our brick wine operation, like an upgrade or something. Uh, printed promotions. I think they are the three and lots of people want to teach us those. Oh, beer by the keg. Bottled beer is cumbersome and doesn't scale well, but put it in steel barrels. Now we're talking the economies of scale. Ooh, kegs of beer. Um, okay, I mean, let's go and pick these up anyway. Um, oh, it's over at Josephine's place. Do you know what? It's fine. Penge cupboard has got a bit, of, uh, a bit of free time in his diary. He's got nothing, you know, lightly penciled in. So let's go over here. Let's have a chat with Josephine. Josephine does quite like us now. We've done some good trade. In fact, hang on a minute, hang on. Josephine? Oh no, a front. That might be a bit distant for a front. If we were to make you a front, Josephine, I think we would need another person helping out over here with other fronts because you're very, very far away. Although to be fair, hang on, hang on. That's one of our fronts. Could Frowny Face just make a bit of a trip over there and help her out? So pop over to, you know, pop in from wherever he comes in first. Imagine over here somewhere and then drive round there, help them out. And then come back over here and carry on over there. That might be worth doing. I mean, there will come a point where Frowny Face can't help any more fronts. He will reach a sort of a saturation point where he can't help any more without letting others down. I think we might be able to do this. And we've got two favours available. Okay, first things first. Let's get the skill first. Uh, okay, beer by the keg. Um, yeah, okay, I need more details. Explain what you mean. Okay, so it unlocks a large brewery module. Okay, right. Interested. I like the sound of this. What do you need? You need... Uh, I was going to say, I think you need a thousand backroom beer. I almost fell off my chain. You need a thousand dollars, 25 lots of backroom beer, and five steel barrels. I think we have some steel barrels 
lying around the place in storage. Okay, yeah, we'll do that, please. Okay, so that's one mission. And then if we press the right button... Um, okay, so that's that one. Old World Knowledge one, right. Okay, who do you want to try and impress? Hang on, who was that? That is... I can't see who's trying to teach us this skill. Um, people over there at Western Car Sales. Um, Ricardo Rossi. We do want to... We do want to make you like us. Do you like us? Oh, no, you are. You're a huge fan of us. I quite like the idea of when we get the skills, learn it from somebody who's not overly fond of us, and that will help out with their opinion of us a bit. Um, Andrew Wilkinson is over there. They quite like us a bit, I think. Do you know what? Let's go over there, then. Let's go over there. Is he one of our friends? He is. He doesn't like us that much. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's go and learn the skill from him because that will get him in our good books a little bit. Penge Cupboard, where are you? Come in, Penge Cupboard. <laughs> Drive quicker, come on. Um, yeah, okay, hang on, I'm in a hurry. Learn new skills. Uh, printed promotions, what does that do? Acquiring the skill allows you to expand some of your operations where you sell booze. Skills are learned, oh, okay. Promote your speakeasy subtly to other members of your ethnic community via your friend's business. Oh, it's nothing to do with labels. Oh, I thought it was to do with labels. No, it's actually just, like, you know, leaflets and marketing and such. Um, yeah, okay, what will it take? It'll take 25 bottle labels. Well, funnily enough, I have a few of those lying around. <laughs> it's all part of the plan, all part of the plan. Oh, hang on. Our vehicle is also looking a little bit kind of like it might fall apart, like a clown car. $67. There we go. Vehicle back up and running. Marvellous stuff. Okay, so now, learnable skills... This should be coming down, because, of course, we can't learn the same skill twice. So what have we got? We've got Brandy from David. Okay, maybe not from you, David, because you live in a dangerous part of town. Or from you down here. Yeah, that seems like a far better option. Penge cover, can you get down here, please? <laughs> so let's have a look. What do you need? Uh, there we go. Um, okay, yeah, skills... Um, bootleg brandy. I mean, we'll check this, but it will say, you can make brandy. You can build a makeshift brandy still. Okay, what will that take? Brick wine and uh, 125 lots of brick wine and a thousand of the dollars. Crikeys. Okay, and then we are down to, we're down to old world knowledge wine. Okay, so Alma Becker, just there. That is one of our fronts. I think she likes us. Yeah, she's okay with us. That's absolutely fine. It's a shame it goes out of that screen. Um, Ricardo Rossi, I think, likes us. Eleonora Johnson, I'm not sure. And Walter Rossi. Okay, Eleonora, are you not overly fond of us? Do you know what? Let's go and try and get the skill from you, then, because that makes sense. Um, oh, we're out of action points. Hang on a second. <laughs> on to the next turn with us. There we go. Right, action points. I'm in a hurry. Can we talk about... Hang on, what? What, what, what? Hang on, we've got our skills... We've got our things back. What do you mean, no, not enough action points? Oh, that, oh, that, I've moved the wrong person. <laughs> that would be why. That would be why. Penge cover, get over here and do this, please. There we go. Um, yeah, new skills. Uh, old world knowledge wine. So what does that do? We can expand our wine production operations. Okay, sounds useful. What do you need? $750. Nice and simple. Um, okay. Okay, I think... We can get those two done first. Get the promotions thing done. Get the old world knowledge wine done. Nice and straightforward. Okay, this was very easy. So job number one, here you go. I've got the money you wanted to learn about the wine stuff. So there we go. Old world knowledge wine is now our skill. Now how we use this, I'm not entirely sure. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's have a look over here. Can we do anything with this? Is it an expansion? I find it a bit annoying. You can't look at the expansions, you know, the sort of you know, potential ones, without getting rid of an existing one. I don't want to get rid of one, but I want to see if it is an expansion, or is it something in here? Backroom wine operation. It's not that, and it's not that either. So it's... Oh, no, that's the basic one, isn't it? That's the non-upgraded one. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be handy or not. Okay, never mind. There we go. Oh, and look. <laughs> Our friend up here, Edward, wants to give us something. I wonder if it's crowbars. <laughs> He's got a new shipment in. Um... Okay, right, bottle labels. How many did we pick up? Did we pick up a few? 16. Okay, let's grab nine more of those. 
And um, and then, yes, we'll go and sort that other mission out. Okay, here you go, Mr. Wilkinson. Here are 25 boxes of bottle labels. I mean, you run a car sales place. So I don't quite know what you're going to do with these, but okie doke, there you go. You now have all those things, and we have our wonderful new skill, which is pretty good going. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, you know, two skills in one turn. That's not too shabby. And a quick visit to Edwin. What do you have for us today, Edwin? Got any leads on interesting goods or products? Um, okay, baseball bats. Do you know what? His opinion of us is coming down a bit. So do you know what? I'd love to spend $90 on 10 baseball bats. We can go and have a lovely, lovely game of baseball. Oh, I don't think we need 10 of them to do that. But okay, okay, there you go. Yes, I'd love to do that, please. And um, okay, got anything for me? Here is some bottled whiskey. Absolutely. I would love that kind of thing. Another 28 bottles of this stuff. Where are you getting it from? Oh my goodness me. Okay, that's wonderful though. Thank you very much. Right, I think... Hang on, hang on. 125 lots of brick wine. We've got none ready right now. And we make 88. Hang on, we're going to make some next turn, I think. So I think we'll pill for the brick wine next turn. We'll go and try and do the bootleg brandy thing. Maybe that might open up other opportunities elsewhere. But yeah, okay, right. So go to next turn. And then we'll just pop into here very quickly and just grab. Uh, oh, it's not done yet. Hang on a second. Uh, it should have just, it should have finished its production run. Brick wine, unless chap, have you picked it all up? Has Bill Burns been so efficient? He already has all of the stuff. Um, no. Hang on, what? I'm very confused. <laughs> Hang on, what? That doesn't make any sense. Where's it gone? Grape concentrate, grapes, stoneware crocs. It's just finished its run because that was at the end, wasn't it? And now it's on nothing oh okay maybe oh hang on a minute it needs 52 crocs we've got 51.72 we've sort of tried to glue together a croc and almost made it complete again oh botherations okay okay fine um we won't do the brick wine bit of that then uh, let's go and do this one then let's go and try and grab some steel barrels and 25 lots of beer do we have the 25 beer over here i am not entirely sure no we don't how long until that's done Another eight turns. Well, of course it is. Okay, let's just go and grab some barrels. There we go. Two lovely steel barrels. I mean, it's not five, but it's not none either. So, you know, it's two barrels nearer to our goal. And we'll put all the whiskey back in here for now. We do need to go and sell this. I said this last time. I was, oh yeah, we've got gin and whiskey and brandy. We should sell that. And I've not got round to it yet. We'll do it at some point. I've not forgotten. Um, okay, so now we need to find a place that will just sell us three more steel barrels. Okay, now where's that going to be? Hang on a minute. Oh. Hang on, they're not down there. I thought they'd be down there. Um, okay, over there, that place. So that should be fine. So let's just go and pick some of those up. There we go, an absolute steel at $5 a piece. And again, it says they're small barrels. These are steel barrels, absolutely. They are steel barrels. Look at that, I want to buy steel barrels. There's a little bit of a bug for it then says small barrels, but they are steel barrels, I'm fairly confident. I'm just gonna go and very quickly check. What have we got? There we go, five steel barrels, lovely stuff. Um, okay, and where were we taking that? Oh, of course, all the way up to Josephine's. Okay, right, fine, off we go. Okay, hello, Josephine, here are the barrels. So you might as well have those. And hang on, we do have some money on us, $1,207. You might as well have this one grand in cash whilst we're here and we have it. So there you go, you enjoy that money, splendid stuff. So now we just need to bring over the, the beer, which is okay. And um, whilst we're here, can we pick up some malt syrup? Just put 22 lots of that into the truck, and there we go. That's 22 more malt syrup than we had previously. So right back down, here we go, to drop that off. And we can do that in one turn. Oh, that's very good. Good driving, Penge Cupboard. And there we go, malt syrup all dropped off. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so we have a couple of level ups to deal with. Dale, the beer guy, is the first. Of course, Dale delivers the beer. You might be able to guess from his kind of official title there. So what do we do for Dale? I think let's get Dale's movement points up. He's got smart opportunist up to level one, but he's not got any efficient driving stuff. So yeah, let's get him up to level one for that. That means he can move around a little bit quicker. So that might help him out a tiny, tiny bit. And then next up, it's John Lee again. Well done, John Lee. You're settling in very nicely indeed. Um, okay, let's give you efficient driver. Let's get your movement points up as well. I mean, I don't really think you need that many movement points. You don't really go that far. You kind of drive up and down the same street, pretty much. You drive from here to there and then back again just repeatedly i mean you could walk that you could walk that bear in mind that each turn is a week 
<laughs> you could walk that many, many times, but no, it's okay. You drive around. It looks more gangstery, I suppose. And I think Edwin has got our lovely baseball bat. So we don't really want, but we need because he doesn't like us that much anymore. So there you go. Can we have the baseball bats? That is wonderful. Let's just chuck them into the kind of great big storage area. Um, okay. Have you got anything else? Got anything for me? Uh, backroom beer. Okay. We need some of this. How much of this is there? 32. Hang on. That's perfect. We can complete this mission. And I think he's put it straight into the car. Um, yes, he has. Oh my goodness me. Edwin, you're a splendid person. I love your hat. Uh, okay, well, let's just drop this off right now. There you go. Have the beer. We can learn the skill beer by the keg. Okay, so we've picked that up, which is all very good. Now, what exactly does it do? Not entirely sure. Um, okay, oh, we've learned about a new resource. A beer keg. Oh, it's a special type of thing. It's not just a big steel barrel. It's a proper beer keg. And ice. Oh, okay. Ice. Ice keep things cold. Yes, indeed it does, game. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not any kind of form of scientist, but I'm aware of the properties of ice there. That's very good. Okay, well, that's pretty good going. So now all we need to do is complete this mission here. So has the um, has the brick wine thing appeared yet? Do we have any brick wine at all? No, we do not. It looks like it's going to be another couple of turns. So I think, yeah, let's try and get down here and pick up as much brick wine as we can when it actually makes some. Okay, so our wine place did make some wine. It last produced 88 lots of brick wine, but I'm not entirely sure where they are. I think maybe Chappie has already started shipping them around the place. Bill, Bill, do you have that wine on you right now? No, you do not. But do we have loads of brick wine in the speakeasy because that would make sense yes he's so efficient he's just moved all the brick wine the second it was produced down into the speakeasy which is very good because that's what we're paying him to do yeah we want him to do that kind of thing but just maybe we could have done with him being slightly less prompt do you know what bill well done that's very impressive um okay we need to go and talk to officer evelyn at some point do we have any money on us no we do not and somebody else has leveled up grace over at the moonshine place. Okay, you can definitely have production manager level one because that is very, very good indeed. Now, what's that done to all the requirements? It's one less alcohol and I think a bit less Crocs. Was it 18 possibly? I can't remember, but that's less. So that is all very helpful. That is very good indeed. Uh, okay, right, Penge cupboard, go and get some money and then just go and see Officer Evelyn, wherever she might be. Officer Evelyn, whereabouts are you? You're all the way over there. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. Pench cupboard, settle in for a bit of a drive. Actually, before you go on your big long drive, Pench cupboard, pop those seven cases of backroom beer over into the speakeasy because they will go down very nicely indeed. Okie doke. There is Officer Evelyn. She did drive right past us. We were over here waiting to go and see her and she went, okay, hi, how are you? And drove across the bridge and went over here. But never mind. We've caught her back up. Um, hello, suggest a lovely, generous donation. Stop saying bribe. It's a donation. Um, yeah, absolutely. $589. Here you go. Have $589. I have that lying around upon my person right now. That is marvellous. Uh, we can't have a chat with the FBI. No, not the FBI. The FBP. The Federal Bureau of Prohibition. Because we're not at war with another outfit. Okay, now we did consider that last time, didn't we? We did think that maybe the Hewitts were getting a little bit near, particularly over in this direction. I mean, how many corners away is that? One, two, there's a couple of corners there. Then there's a gang and then there's our territory. They are quite near. I don't know if we're overly happy with all that going on over there. And I think maybe if we got everybody together, if we got Dale the beer guy, Harry, who's always angry, frowny face, and we got Steve together. So four people, all with shooty guns. I think we could go in and take them out. I mean, it might take a couple of goes. Oh, look at that. Maxine Hewitt is injured. She's been involved in a bit of a scuffle already, probably with those folks over there, I would guess. But okay, they're getting a bit near. The Dimitrievs are quite big, but I'm not so worried about them. But yes, the Hewitts over here, they are getting a little bit close to us, which might cause a little bit of tension at some point. We need to do some expansion, don't we? We need to do some expanding. Do we set this up as a front over here? That does mean we're going to need to go and bribe another police officer. Officer Annie, although we have got... Oh, look at that. We've gone over a 100,000 of the monies. Okay. Do you know what? Let's set that up as a front. And that'll get us another corner there. Another corner there. 
there and possibly over there. Although I don't quite know what we're going to do with this corner. <laughs> this can be nature corner where people can go and just, you know, wander in the woods and you know, look at the birds and enjoy some lovely time outdoors. They can feel at one with the world and the earth and stuff. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a pointless corner to have, but it's still a corner. I imagine it still counts. I think that's what we should do. Okay, right, penge covered. Come back here, grab a massive, massive pile of money because we're going to need to go and uh, have a lovely chat with the police officer over there as well. But um, yeah, I think that is probably the best thing for us to do right now. Oh, and this is wonderful. Officer Annie is on the corner that we need to go to anyway. This is very good. Hello, Officer Annie, how are you? Uh, right, let's have a chat. So, hi, um, I just want to say we appreciate how much law enforcement is doing for this neighbourhood. Aren't you all great? Um, would you like a lovely, generous donation in the form of lovely, cold, hard cash? Um, ah, they don't trust us enough. Okay, can we have a chat with anybody that likes Officer, Officer Annie over here? Um, no, you're, you're kind of gang people. Um, oh, you. Good old Edwin. Oh, well, of course it would be Edwin, wouldn't it? Okay, we've probably got some favours with Edwin. We must have at least a few favours. Come on, Edwin. Me and you go way back. Um, three favours. Um, okay, right. So, uh, support with a common friend. Uh, oh, crikey's. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we just click? Can we click you? Oh, yes, we can do. I'm on good terms with Annie Ostergaard. Um, yes, please. That would be brilliant. Okay, so still got two favours. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. You're great, you are. Right, okay, come back over here, have a chat with Annie again, and we'll discuss the whole sort of, you know, monetary arrangement thing. 520 of the monies. There you go. Lovely. That It's it's lovely doing business with you. Nice to meet you, Annie. Uh, you also have a lovely hat. Uh, and then, over here, let's have a chat with Josephine and see if she would like to become one of our fronts. So here you go. Um, right, okay, this is all fine. 1,440 money. I think we have that because I bought a huge big pile of money. I bought two and a half grand because I knew this was going to be costly. So, okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, another corner up to 38. Loyalty rewarded. Okay, so there we go. $8 to get up into that corner. That's absolutely fine. The only thing is, um, hang on. Can we have a chat with Henry uh, Henry Sawmills? I like the fact <laughs> Henry Sawmills. That'd just be a good name. Just a good name generally. What's your name? I'm Mr. Sawmills. Uh, what do you do? I work in plumbing. Um, okay. Work, in, uh, work on this corner. Please demand payment. The answer is no. Joe, you know what? It's fine. It's fine, Leroy. We're okay with all this sort of shenanigans. It's okay. We'll get this place. We'll sort it out. As soon as we get other corners, we'll be absolutely fine. Um, can we buy some stuff from you? just to make you like us a bit more. I mean, lumber. Lumber could always be useful. I'll pick up some lumber. Let's do one lot, because that considers that we've been doing trading. Okay, that's nice. Not enough action points, you know what? It's fine. Go to the next turn. It's all okay. Police are descending on a certain corner. Are you descending on that corner there? <laughs> Officer Annie is going into nature, everybody. Um, okay, right. Let's go back over here. So what are we on? Five, because we're okay, and three, because we've been doing business. Okay, I'd like some lumber, please. Uh, just the one bit, please. Thanks. That's up to five. I'd like some lumber, please. <laughs> this is a bit silly, isn't it? Thanks. That's... Now we're up to plus 14. Okay, proposition. Um, okay, we can make things better together. He's still saying no. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, never mind. Um, and that front needs a bit of help. We haven't collected enough. Here's eight dollars. I've got a car full of lumber that I don't really need, but it's fine. Uh, okay, what we need to do is, before I forget, let's make sure Frowny Face comes over here to help out our newest front. Okay, there we go. So it's been added in. It's not ideal because it is a bit of a drive from the hotel over here to the new place over here. So he's going to have to go from the hotel, drive all the way round there to go to that place, then drive all the way back to go over to there. So it's not perfect, but I think it'll have to do. We shall keep an eye on it just to make sure that we are actually, you know, helping the fronts out and not leaving them out to dry. So, okay, that is in, which is wonderful stuff. So there we go. Do you know what? I am a bit concerned about that. I'm a little bit worried about that. Also, where is Officer Gerald? Officer Gerald, we haven't seen you for a long time. There he is. How good are we for you? Up to October. Okay, that's not too far off. Um, okay, we haven't got enough money to pay off as a Gerald right now. Um, okay, right, let's drive back over to here and make sure we've got some money to hand to Officer Gerald in, what, about a month's time-ish. 
Oh, this is all a bit sad. Officer Gerald doesn't like us anymore. Officer Gerald, I thought we got on. I thought we were brothers in arms. You've broken my heart, Officer Gerald. Yeah, we need five relationship points and we currently have none at all. Okay, let's just sort of, you know, be nice to him. There we go. Right, we're back up to sort of being friends. Uh, let's suggest not a bribe, a lovely donation. There you go. They don't trust us enough. Oh no, Officer Gerald, what happened here? Okay, we need to sort this out. Um, I mean, we could go and talk to Edwin again. We need to go over to Edwin anyway, because he does have something for us. So, okay, right, let's uh, let's kill two birds with one stone. So, hello, bit of support, Officer Gerald. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, I like the fact we're working with gangs to make the police like us a bit more. Um, leads on a product. Um, yeah, okay, some more lovely crowbars, but it'll keep you sweet, which is marvellous. And then, yeah, have you got anything for us? Do you have anything nice? Some bathtub gin. Just one bath of gin. Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll have that as we go around. Um, okay, Officer Gerald, do you like us a bit now? Can you please accept this lovely, generous donation? Um, there you go. $400. You're welcome. Lovely stuff. Okay, hopefully Officer Gerald will like us next time. Because that was all a bit sad. Um, and we need to go over to our front because we have got another corner. We've got that corner over there, which is very, very good indeed. So, yeah, let's just... Um, do you know what? Let's not help out this corner right now. Where is... Hang on. Where's Frowny Face? He's all the way over there. I don't think this is going to work very well over here, is it? I think this might be a bit of a problem. We need to get another person in. And when we start expanding over here, we need to sort of set them up to go and help out the fronts over here. Um, okay, right now, right now, it's all fine. So, um, so okay, right, yep, yeah, let's have a chat with you. There you go. How's the front doing? Not collected enough. There's eight monies. Um, how's the front doing? Uh, expand, please. So now you're going to get that corner, which is very nice indeed. Um, you, do you want to have a chat again? Um, nope, you're still not going to not gonna go for it. It's fine. And then go over here. It would be handy if we could get somebody, so they're not running out of money, so we don't need to go and help them quite so much. Um, okay, this place here, they sell grape concentrate, and we could do with some grape concentrate. So how about we buy some of this, and then... A bit later on, maybe we try and get them to, you know, sort of join our lovely protection club. Can we buy a load of grape concentrate now, please? Okay, we'll have six there. Maybe not a load of it, but there we go. We'll have six. Um, can we talk to you now? Um, demand payment. Oh, they've gone for it. They've gone for it. That might be enough to cover the one corner we've got now. And then Henry's Auto Market. Oh, we haven't got enough, um, enough action points. Do you know what? Skip to the next turn. It's all fine. We're flying through the turns, which is good. I think we kind of need to do this with this game now. We're sort of, we're getting to a point where we've got all the routes set up. People are driving about the place. You know, we're very much in control of this part of town. And, uh, you know, it's fine. We can just sort of move time on relatively quickly. Now things are all nice and set up. Um, frowny face is coming round. Oh did, oh, did I help them out? Okay, I helped them out. I forgot about that. Never mind. Right. We've taken control. Hello. Demand payment. And they're helping as well. Okay, I think that means that this corner is not going to struggle anymore. That is very good. Uh, and you have a mission for us. Um, oh, here we go. Picking up envelopes. You want <laughs> five crowbars, you say? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Do I have any honours right now? Um, no, I don't. I normally do, however. I normally have quite a lot of crowbars upon my person, courtesy of Edwin here. Um... Do you know what? Yeah, let's go and get us another vehicle to litter the side of the Chicago highways. There we go. So I've dropped off the one bit of gin into Pete's American Meats and Cheeses, and then I've picked up the five crowbars. Also, I went and grabbed a bit of money from Agnes's place and put it into the storage place, because sometimes we do need to pop back here and also pick up some money. So it saves, you know, a little bit of extra driving going from here round the corner to there. It's just, you know, it's just handy to have if we need to go to storage. We can also pick up a bit of money if we need some. And we need to drop that grape concentrate off as well. And then, yeah, when we've done that, we'll head straight back over to, it's not just there, over to there. We'll head back over to Josephine's. Okay, so we've arrived and the good news is that it looks like she's getting enough money from our lovely, happy, friendly protection club to actually cover the cost of her being a front which is very handy. So she is not going to, at the moment anyway, have any problems with, you know, paying everybody. We're not going to have a message popping up in the game saying, oh, this front is, you know, all going wrong and you're going to lose your corners and all that kind of stuff because, yeah, at the moment, she's covering those costs, which is very handy. So that's quite good. Also, John Lee has leveled up again. Goodness me, John Lee. Well done. Um, okay, so you've got that up to level one and that up to level one. So action points and movement points have been increased. I mean, how about... 
how about we give you delivery, Dash? I mean, you're friendly anyway. Let's make you even friendlier and lovely and professional. There we go. Have a point of delivery, Dash. Why not? That's quite a nice thing. Right, and then back over to here. Let's hand these things in. Complete this mission. Here you go. I've got some crowbars. Weirdly enough, I had a huge supply of those. Very odd. Um, and then a thousand of the monies. We can have a four-door beat-up sedan. We can have a nice new car. Small delivery truck. Negotiation assistant. Or 1,400 of the monies. How many delivery trucks do we have? One pickup. One regular car. Two delivery trucks. I think, let's get another delivery truck. I don't know if we'll ever need it, but I'm not so bothered about the other things. They are seemingly the most useful thing that we could have. So yeah, okay, delivery truck. There we go, lovely stuff. So that's another mission done. I noticed that there are some missions over here as well. Um, okay, do you know what? I'm game. Let's see what you're offering. Um, okay, hello. Um, you think you can just strong arm your way into this neighborhood. Okay, my friend, you misunderstand. We're all out for what's best in the neighbourhood. That sounds like a very penge cupboard thing to say. Okay, you want 500 monies just to sponsor the next block party. Yeah, okay, absolutely. I'm happy to do that. Stop being such a grumpy pants. And, um, oh, hang on, and then you over there. I imagine you're going to say pretty much the same thing. Um, oh, no. Oh, no, I see. They both had the same mission because they're on the same block. Okay, no, I've got you the money. It's right here. There you go. Perhaps you're not so bad after all. Absolutely not. Would you like some tea? And John Lee has got enough reputation to actually get his nickname. Okay, I mean, he's called John Lee. I mean, does he need a nickname? I don't know. What do we call John Lee as a nickname? I'm not really sure. So we're just going to call him the Johnster. I quite like the idea of that. So there you go. John Lee can now be known as the Johnster. There you go. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed by and it is a brand new year. In fact, it's a new decade as well. It's 1930 now. So here we go. Let's take a look at how we're doing. So we've now got five legacy goals. I think that's the same as last time. So we've not kind of got any more, but on the good side, we don't have any less either. So it looks like we're kind of, you know, we're established in this thing here. We're okay at the sort of whole net worth thing. Um, course and cunning, yet yeah, that's fine. We've got eight captains, we need seven. So that's fine. So that's kind of you're in the bag unless we get people killed. Um, corners controlled 9%, we need 30%. So we're not quite there yet with the whole sort of control thing. Uh, favours, yeah, loads of those. That's fine. Uh, railroads and freight handlers, not got any of those sorted yet. We make the most booze and we sell to the most people. We liquidate it literally in all the speakeasies and the pubs and such like. And yeah, we still need to try and get the hotel on board. We've not done that. And what's this? Yeah, it's still on 47% of hooligans neutralised. We need to get that up to 50 and um, yeah, another 25% in terms of eliminating the other outfits. I think that means if we take out, have we taken out two? I think we've taken out two outfits. So if we take out two more, that will complete this, which I think could be quite good. I think that is entirely possible. We could certainly do that. We're going to have to sort of take people away from their jobs. And I know we talked about this last time. We could take people away from what they're doing right now because, you know, we have $121,000. So we could, you know, stop these people doing their stuff for now and then go over here and possibly have a little bit of a fight with the Hewitts. Did the Hewitts not have something over here? Hang on, what? Wasn't there somebody over here? I thought somebody had some stuff in this area. Was that not the Hewitts? Have they lost that territory over there? Or am I going mad? I thought they had something over here. Well, clearly they don't. They're still a bit near to us, though. So I think maybe, we won't do it this time, we won't do it this time round. That might require quite a lot of effort and planning and moving people about. But um, yeah, how many have they got? That's the diamond outfits. They've got one, two, three, four people, I think, by the look of it, in the, um, in the Hewitt outfit. I think we could take them out. I think we could pick on them. But we won't do it now. We'll do that next time, I think. But, you know, it's certainly a plan and I think it is achievable. And wonderful news. Captain Bill Burns has leveled up. OK, Bill, what do we get you now? How do you want to improve? I mean, maybe we just make you have delivery dash as well. You're very, very good at moving about the place and you don't really have that complicated a route. So I think maybe let's get this done. Let's get delivery dash up to level one. A lovely professional delivery driver. I would expect nothing less from Bill Burns. So there you go. You have a point of delivery, Dash Bill. And John Lee, the Johnster, has leveled up again. My goodness me, that is very impressive, John Lee. That's what, four level ups in this one particular video alone? Good job. Good job, sir. Um, let's give you, I don't know, let's boost your movement points so you can move around even more. I don't really think you need them, but you know what? It's all fine. It all helps. 
And the good news is I have moved time on a considerable amount. I just let things tick over. It's all looking wonderful. There is a lot of very, very good stuff going on. Everyone's driving about. I'm trying to keep things afloat as best I can. I've been driving around picking up bottles and delivering it to over here. This place does keep filling up with things. We might need to possibly just lessen the amount of hops that we bring in via the sort of uh, delivery route thing. But we'll try and tweak that next time, I think. And, you know, I've just been trying to keep things ticking over very nicely. And our corner over here has now reached as far as it can go. We don't expand to the sort of the outside of the town, unfortunately. So that is kind of it. But that's fine. That's three more corners over here. That's very good indeed. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That is all very good. Um, how long have we got the arrangement with you? Until July. Okay, so a little further on. So that's not too bad either. So yeah, she's not going to bother us for a while too. Um, so yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now because I think we have done quite well. Next time, we'll try and get this sorted. This mission here would be quite good to get out of the way, wouldn't it? Let's get this all out of the way, all sorted, and we'll just see what it gives us. I mean, I imagine it's going to give us the ability to make brandy, but, you know, we'll get that done and out of the way. And with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. But next time, we are going to go on a bit of a knowledge kick, because there are lots of skills now available to us, and some of them are way more interesting than others. So if we look here, makeshift stills, that's sort of okay. We can manufacture neutral alcohol from cheap and readily available corn syrup, although we're sort of okay with neutral alcohol for now. We kind of got you know, a relatively steady supply of that from that mission that we can kind of repeat for some time. So hopefully we don't need that, although we could get it, I suppose. And then over here, cordially yours. Cordials and other liqueurs are key ingredients to the fancy cocktails proliferating in the city's clubs and speakeasies. I think that might be key to unlocking the hotel. I think the hotel, because they're a fancy pants hotel, they're going to be serving cocktails. And I think that might help us out quite a bit. So we'll go for that as well. So cordially yours. Um, ice making. We can have a lovely ice house. That sounds nice. And what else can we have? Cordially yours. Extra extraction. Learning this skill allows you to upgrade your existing backroom moonshine operations into expanded ones. That could be quite handy. More moonshine. Going over to the speakeasy means more money. And then superior stills. Oh, hang on. That can be upgrading the moonshine operation as well. Oh, okay, hang on. Are they not the same sort of thing? Okay, so we'll look at that as well, I think. But uh, but yeah, so I think what we'll see from now on, we're going to see time moving on quite a bit. So we've got until the end of 1933, I believe. So yeah, we've still got a way to go. We've got the rest of 1930, and then all of 1931, 32, and 33. So it's three and what? Three years in-game and, what, three and three-quarter years-ish, something like that. So there's still plenty of time to go, but I think we will kind of move things on a bit now because, you know, we're settling down. Things are settling down. We're trying to expand some corners. So, yeah, we'll look at those skills next time and maybe, just maybe, we'll go and have a fight with the Hewitts. I think that might be a fun thing to do. They're getting a little bit too close, a little bit too big for their boots. So we might have to go and take them out next time and just, you know, make them make them go away. Well, you know, remove the Hewitt situation or whatever polite way of putting it Penge Cupboard will come up with. But uh, yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out because we will finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in city of gangsters but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time i just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on let's suppress the pants off that thing i always knew hiding at a park bench would be no good oh no it's a terrifying disc thing the aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair which is just ridiculous <laughs>